Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Bat Sim Crazy. Uh, back here with video number two in my quest to start a little business, actually a big business here on the um, very, very busy map, Ricky's Hollow. Um, and I have just uh, uh, ended my last uh, adventure here by delivering some grass to the bale and wool storage barn. Um, and as you can see here, uh, this um, area is just for storage um, for these different items um, and actually it takes time to process these technically so if you need it right away um, don't necessarily want to put it here that is one thing I've learned um, but it is a nice place to store quite a bit of all this stuff so that is good um, I haven't explored any of the other buildings along here yet and I have purchased um, this land with all of them so I'm just going to go exploring a little bit. And so the first building that you come to in this section is the bale and wool storage um, and then there's probably uh, four or five other um, other buildings along here um, and it looks like they could be quite useful uh, to start um, it looks like there's some seed making, fertilizer making going on, so if we want to plant anything, which will be coming soon, um, that will probably be a nice thing to have produced and not have to pay for if we can get all of the correct inputs going. So um, this first building, or sorry, second building here is the Seed Master, so this one is relatively straightforward. Um, number of types of grain here, and then either fertilizer or liquid fertilizer makes seeds. Um, so if we can get any of those grains going um, and get some fertilizer going that will help us out with this one um, and then we don't have to purchase our seeds and i believe another one of these buildings along here is the um, produces fertilizer so um, if we had some grain going and some fertilizer going then we would be able to um, keep this running without having to buy anything hopefully so that would be, be perfect um, so that's the second one in the series there the next one I believe is going to be the fertilizer Alright, so we will hop in the little tractor here and head over to the next building and check this one out. Hello, train. Okay, so this is in fact the fertilator. Um, and so a bit of silt, um, which is actually, it's saying manure compost or silt, uh, some silage, and fertilizer and liquid fertilizer, which is fantastic. Uh, should we perhaps want one or the other? Yeah, moving on to the next building here, this is the feed mill, I believe. So, ah, yes, oh, bird seed production. So, yes, this um, this will give us all different kinds of feed, um, which we might not need right away. But if we want to do anything with animals, uh, we're definitely going to want to utilize this building. Um, and there are a number of these mixes that go into these feeds, so... Um, these mix one, mix two, mix three. This mix five is grass and hay, um, and then some of the other mixes are uh, mix one, wheat, barley, or rye. Just uh, some some various things here, and then uh, diesel water, um, some meat in the dog food production, um, and then various uh, crops depending on what kind of food we're trying to produce. 
Um, and it's looking like this is going to put out not just the feed, but also some other items like byproducts um, and things like that. So we'll have to be ready to deal with those um, in addition to actually handling the feed that we're going to get out of this. So, we'll move on down the line here, see what we come to next, and I tell you all, I'm realizing very quickly that I think I'm going to have to take a very calculated approach to um, moving forward here. Uh, I'm feeling a little uh, ambitious tonight, um, I want to just get into something else uh, besides this grass mowing that I've done and checking out these buildings, but definitely going to have to figure out a calculated approach. So this here, the liquid transition, um, this is going to give us our herbicide, um, and so this would round out what we need um, to plant. Um, we can get our seeds, we can get our fertilizer, and we can get our herbicide for weed spray um, all from this area here, these, these buildings along here. So this is going to take potato, water, and diesel. Um, so, we'll of course, have to plant some potatoes uh, or figure out if there's some other way to get them production-wise if we want to um, get our herbicide. And so... Looks like we have uh, just a couple left to take a look at here. I'm uh, pausing here every once in a while to on the screen to take some uh, photos for that app I had, although I'm already thinking about potentially abandoning that and doing uh, have to uh, spreadsheet this stuff or something. It's just um, there's just so many things going on here. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to be able to keep up with it uh, and uh, take any kind of calculated approach any other way. So anyway, um, that said, we can hop back in the tractor here and head on down to second to last building. Let's see what we have here. Ah, here we have uh, compost production. Not necessarily sure how useful this would be right off the bat, but um, coal and waste, which looks like a lot of things fall into that category. Straw, hay, grass, wood chips, potatoes, sugar beet, chaff, silage, or clover. So all kinds of things um, falling into that category, along with coal to create compost. So probably not one we're going to want to jump on right off the bat, but um, it is in this line of buildings that we own, so who knows? Okay, so our last stop in this line is, I believe, going to be grass processing. Now, this one I uh, can do something with because I just happen to have a lot of grass back in the first storage building here. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'll come down here and see what I can get out of this. And so, yes, grass processing. So just one input, grass, will give me silage, hay, and wait, um, sewage, rather. So uh, silage, again, could be uh, useful for either dealing with animals or a number of other things, and uh, as well as hay, and then... Uh, sewage it looks like it's just going to be something I'm going to have to deal with and take somewhere. Um, so this 
rounds out the exploration here of my uh, second property purchase uh, on this uh, rather large map. Um, so now I think what I'll probably do is haul some grass down to this grass processing plant building, whatever you want to call it, just so I can say I did something with it besides just store it because that wouldn't be any fun. Um, and then once I do that, um, I'm going to run over here and look. This looks like a large storage silo um, that's not necessarily listed as an area, but um, definitely um, definitely could be helpful. Looks like a train stop here as well um, to be able to uh, pick up and store uh, probably a number of different types of grain, so definitely check more into that later. Um, and it also looks like over there where you see that blue um, lake looking area uh, there's this that excuse me that there is a water trigger you know, so you can uh, fill up a uh, water tank uh, to either take for various uh, building processing buildings or uh, anything else you might need it for so heading on back now to pick up this grass and uh, we'll get that dumped off and then we'll head back up and park the old tractor back up top on our uh, grass mountain there we'll call it and we'll figure out what we're going to do next. All right, so I'm going to open up my trailer here and get me some grass out of the storage area. Uh, I'll just do a little bit for now until I figure out what exactly I'm, what all I'm doing with that grass. Um, so then I'm going to head back on down to the other end of the row to that, this grass processing um, building. Um, Oh, just uh, running through the uh, silo there to make sure that that is what I thought it was. Um, so here we are at grass processing. We'll dump that off uh, so we can get that started. And then we'll just head on back up to the, uh, to the mountain, grass mountain if you will and park this thing and then we're going to go exploring to see what else we can actually afford to purchase and what we might want to purchase. Oh dear, I believe I've cut that nice gentleman off. Uh, so just heading down the mountain and my lovely green pickup truck here and I'm not really sure what exactly I want to do. <laughs> um, I've got to figure out what I can afford um, and what
what even makes sense to do. I'm not really sure. I kind of just want to buy something just to just to try it out. Um, I think just looking around here, um, probably be nice to have a field to grow something. Um, they are all relatively expensive, um, so not really sure which one of these I want to buy. Trying these out. That is super expensive. Um, even some of these smaller ones are uh, a few hundred thousand dollars, so I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to do. I don't have a ton of cash. Could take a loan, of course. Um, just looking at these, uh, definitely a lot to work with here. So I think I, gosh, every one of these is more. I really don't want to take a loan right now if I can help it, although I have to fast forward a bit to um, get something grown and sold. some of these mines cost that one oh copper mine is 175 I can afford that um, definitely cannot afford that piece right there wow there's something fancy going on there five million gosh I think I might go with copper yeah Coal mines a bit more, or nickel, cement. I mean, copper is a pretty good deal, I think, just to try something else out. Haven't really messed around with the mining yet. I think that might be what I go check out. All right, y'all. So I actually decided to go and edit the last part of this video to speed it all up because I just got way out of control here. Um, I was trying to go explore the copper mine. Uh, first I drove in the wrong mine, um, then I realized that, backed out, and I actually drove over to the copper mine and started doing some looking around, um, just trying to get a feel for what was going on. Um, and now that I have done this. So I decided to buy the copper mine. Um, checking it out. Diesel and water is pretty much um, what I need to get it started. And then I have the, you've got this copper rock thing. So the diesel and water get the copper rock going. And then um, actually I just think the diesel gets the copper rock going. And then you put water and once the copper rock is or as it's produced you can move it over to the correct spot, which you'll see here in a bit, and then you can actually start producing copper. Um, so as I'm just blatantly messing around here, I'm starting to realize, and I realized after I got done with all this, that if I want to make this work on this complicated of map, I gotta have a system. Um, not everybody needs a system, um, but it just works well for me. Um, helps me figure out what I'm doing. Um, so right now I'm trying to buy a diesel tank to haul diesel with. Um, I actually wind up buying the wrong diesel tank because <laughs> I did not know what I was doing, which you'll see. So I buy this tank and you'll see me go fill it up, get over there and then realize I can do absolutely nothing with it. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that as I go here. But basically what I've realized after the fact is that it would really help me out to just go through and put together a list of every factory or production point that I can find. Um, list the all of the input items and then all of the output items and then I have a nice big list of everything going so I can make a better decision about how I want to move forward um, as far as 
you know, producing things in an order that actually makes sense. <laughs> so um, in the third video I post, I'm going to go through that list, um, how I put it together, and then how I kind of plan to own to the wrong mind again here, by the way, because uh, I just was not paying attention to the fact that the first one is not the copper mine. Um, finally figured that out and turned around. Anyway, um, I've got this list together, and I'm going to talk about how I'm going to use it to try to do something relatively um, cohesive and, you know, what I'm going to produce first, how I'm going to keep up with everything. Um, I think in a lot of ways this math is way too much to keep up with if you're trying to do a little bit of everything, but I am determined to see how much stuff I can get into and if I can actually create a system that kind of keeps everything going <laughs> on uh, on the map. So um, looking forward to doing that third video and try to start to make sense of everything and, and get a little system down. So right now I'm just aimlessly driving around <laughs> with this diesel tank. Um, and finally realize that I have the wrong tank. Um, that this particular tank is only good for, um, you know, driving somewhere and filling up other vehicles. It does absolutely no good at drop points where I actually have to drop diesel. So after I figured this out, I realized that I actually need to go buy, um, I go and buy one of the large diesel tanks. Um, and then, of course, I need a nice large truck to pull it. Um, thankfully, I can lease things, and thankfully, it, um, since it's a mod, it was not overly expensive, um, so that helped me out quite a bit, for sure. Um, so after I finally figure all this out, I will eventually... Um, yeah, so I'm testing that out now. Oh, okay, so it works to fill up the truck, but it does not dump. Finally get it. Um, definitely a little slow here, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm going to figure this out. So I'm now hunting for the correct tank, checking out this tipper, which I'll probably use at some point because that thing's pretty cool. Checking out this nice uh, mining truck here. Um, definitely going to need that later, as I as I realize, um, for moving that. Um, copper rock around and probably be useful for all the other rocks as well. Now, do you actually need the giant mining truck? I don't know. Probably not. There's probably other ways to move it around, but I have not figured that out yet, so that is what I end up going with. So, I'm now hauling this tank, very sulkily, hanging my head low, all the way back to the shop. Um, I'm going to get there, park it, um, maybe I can do something productive with it later on, or maybe I'll just get rid of it, who knows. Um, so pull it in here to get this thing dropped off and now I have gotten this tank that says it just sits like slides on uh, different another stupid mistake of the evening because I realized that that is not going to work with pickup truck I think that's probably more for um, the uh, big bigger trucks if you will um, maybe potentially just the Unimog because now I'm going to buy this giant uh, uh, large you know tr big big pulling truck here <laughs> um, and I'm gonna try to attach it to that I realize that doesn't work and so now I'm feeling like a super big moron so I'm getting rid of that and now I'm searching for the tank that you just pull behind the truck which is what I should have done in the first place had it not been a moron but finally figured it out. So I've got my nice big blue tank here, hooked it up. I'm going to go over, just because at this point I'm so frustrated and I have lost any sense of doing things in a realistic order. I'm going over here and spending the very little bit of money I have on some diesel just so I can drive all the way back to the copper mine and see <laughs> if I can make anything work because at this point I'm just frustrated don't know how to drive the truck, ran it into a fence there, and I'm trying again. So here we go, feeling very frustrated at this point, heading back to the copper mine, and I'm going to dump this diesel off, and at this point something is going to happen which will make me feel a little bit better, uh, but that is not going to be the end of my, <laughs> my
unfortunate journey. Drove the truck into a fence again there. That was fun. Um, finally getting close here, trying to learn how to maneuver this thing. Oh, yeah, can't. Oh, okay. Decided to drive, make this extra hard on myself, drive through some trees and make sure I'm at the right one since I went to the wrong one so many times. Uh, thankfully realized that it was the next one. And so I'm finally back and I see the trigger come up and I'm feeling great. Uh, finally did something right. So sure enough, got some diesel in there and so now I'm gonna have that copper ox stone um, production getting started. And so now, um, because this tank will hold a number of different things, I realize I need some water. Um, and thankfully, there is, um, I discover, a water trigger or pump or whatever you want to call it. Um, very close to the mine here, uh, just right outside. Um, There's this large uh, lake, and I can pull right up and fill up with some water. So I'll get myself a little water, again, just kind of testing this out. Um, gotten frustrated, want something to work. So heading back with the water now, um, realized that that is not the same trigger. So now I'm going to pull in here, and that is not working either. <laughs> and so just uh, then realize, oh, it goes in there. So, okay, so I got my water dumped right there. And so now, I am going to check this out, and now I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, how do I actually make the copper? And what I'm realizing is that the copper rock gets produced with the diesel, but it does not automatically just start making copper. Um, what actually happens is that it gets produced, and then it shows up to the, um, if you're facing the mine, kind of to the right side. And um, once that happens, then you come pick that up and drop it um, at, at the drop point for that, which is right next to that water tank. And then you can actually start getting copper. So at this point, I'm like, well, I've done a bunch of other stupid things tonight, so I might as well lease this giant dump truck. You know, why not? Uh, so got this thing ready to go. Realize it's freaking huge, so I'm attempting to drive it around without running over anybody or anything um, and coming up over the bridge and I realize oh my dear goodness I have met a some sort of dignitary just drove right over the car so sorry sir or ma'am very sorry um, so heading back now to the mine in my giant truck and just at this point frustrated <laughs> once again <laughs> and want something to go right and finish this uh, you know finish out this production cycle so I'm hoping that when I get back here I'll be able to move that copper rock with this of course I found out that I could um, so this was just not did not go it all the way I intended see I'm I don't even I, I still don't know what I'm doing I'm trying to see oh well do I get it in there and then I see oh there's this ball of something over here and sure enough um, and as soon as I figure out how to do the auto loader on this truck that right there is the trigger um, for that copper rock so um, now just driving around aimlessly um, I head back over still haven't figured out that I actually can load that ball. Then I finally figured out, get the ball loaded in the truck, ball, rock, whatever you want to call it. And then if you back up there, it just um, conveniently rolls out of there um, when you press the, uh, press the button and disappears. <laughs> um, so now, I get out and check one last final time and see, oh my goodness, I have actually got copper rock now, so I'm going to finally start producing copper along with trash and a little bit of gold um, on the side, which will be nice. Uh, cause I'm pretty sure I can take that to the bank and just get some uh, straight up cash for it. So anyway, sorry for the ridiculous, like all over the place video, definitely going to take a more calculated approach and, you know, figure out a method to the madness. Um, do some more uh, on 
each production line and things like that. So appreciate uh, appreciate uh, everybody watching, and um, yeah, I'll uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.